Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you today about rhythms and how I managed to write and work uh, through COVID, through all of this. I'm a writer who's published 12 or 13 books and I am working on a couple more. I also run a non-profit called One Small Step SK where you can connect with non-profits here in the city so that you can see what they need and the work that they're doing. And so for me, with the four children, plus two other young women who are a big part of my life, I find that I spend a lot of time being interrupted and I've grown to accept that that's part of the process for me. But I do have some rhythms that I'll share with you. One thing I've been doing since I read a book called Off the Clock, which I enjoyed a lot, um, is I set up in the morning with the chaos of the children after I've thrown some breakfast in front of them. And what I do is I light a candle and I try to write down what I'm going to be doing at certain times of day. So for example, 10 o'clock today, I'll be making a video about rhythms. And then I know that that's gonna be how I allot my time. I write it down and I try to just think, okay, what are the key things I have to get done? And where in there am I gonna put writing? And I learned several years ago to always put writing as the first thing I can do. Another rhythm for me is cooking. I spend a lot of time cooking because I have lots of people in my life. And I try to use that time to exercise a different type of creativity. And so dinner, cooking supper every day is not actually the funnest thing, as I'm sure many of you know. But I try to infuse it with just a little bit of something fun. I try to look up a new recipe every now and then so I'm not just making the same old pizza or meatloaf and then my final rhythm is that I try to exercise I find that if I use my body I'm more able to sit still and write I'm a very fidgety person I'm sitting here holding my arms still so I don't bounce around on the screen and so for me, having time to try to exercise, it seems like it would be ridiculous to fit it in, but on a Sunday, what I do when I also meal plan, which is a very boring thing, is I schedule in when I intend to work out during the week. And by doing that, I tend to hit about 80% of those workouts. I don't make them all, but I do try to schedule in at the beginning of the week, okay, these are gonna be the workouts. I put a little music on in the background for this video because even if all my rhythms have fallen and I haven't managed to light my candle and I have thrown together something quick and easy for supper so I've had no time to just relax in the kitchen, not that it's always relaxing and I didn't manage to work out for the last four or five days because life got in the way. One thing I can do is put in headphones. Uh, and as soon as I have those on, I can find whatever I've been doing in the music that I listen to. I have created a lot of playlists that for me help me focus. One is called The Liberties. It's a book I probably will never finish, but as soon as I put it on, I know exactly where I am on the page in any book. It's a weird thing. And so for me, music is key to how I go about creative practice. Anyway, I hope some of those rhythms help for you. One thing I suppose to finish with, and I don't know what your creative practice is, but I do always make time to read. And for me, it's beyond a rhythm, it's a lifeblood. It's how I function. If I haven't read anything for more than a few hours, I find that I notice it. For me, I root myself in the words of other people, the stories that they want to tell. It's helped me as a writer, it's helped me as a person, it's helped me as a parent. If I'm struggling with my temper or how to manage a situation, I know I can turn to a book uh, by some other parent or expert who could help me. I know that in novels I can find alternative ways of being and ways to live and interpretations of the times that we're in. One book I'd recommend is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. It looks at a dystopic potential future and adds grace and beauty. Maybe through these COVID strange times you'll find the same illumination that I did. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful with your own creative practice. Bye.